In this video, we are going to discuss inverted index MapReduce example. So this particular video will be assisted with some practical demonstration to show you how to write the codes, how to execute it to get the outputs. Inverted index example. So we'll be considering this example here. From the posts.xml, find the Wikipedia links, make the inverted index. So we are having one XML file that is a posts.xml and on which we'll be applying this inverted index. And in this program also find the type of the post using post type ID. And the type of the posts may be like, comments, post questions, etc. So there are different type of posts will be there. So let us go for one practical demonstration for the easy understanding of the implementation. In this program, uh, we are going to uh, demonstrate and implement the summarization design pattern under which we are going to implement inverted index MR task. We are having one XML file that is a posts.xml which is under the folder that is our slash input slash post. So under this particular path, we are having posts.xml. This post.xml is a huge file. You can easily find that it is a huge file. It is having a size of 108.93 MB. So we are going to show you that in input uh, slash post, the file is existing and it is a huge one, but I shall be showing a sum of the rows there in this particular file for your better understanding. And there is 108.93 MB. So let me go for the file content. We're opening the text editor. So we can find that it is a XML file. It is a huge long file, but I have shown some of the records here. Under the posts tag, we're having row tags are there. And you can find this is a complete row and it is having multiple attributes. We're having under the row tag, we're having the attribute like ID, post type ID, accepted answer ID, creation date. The next one, we're going to have the score, then view count, then body. Having the next one is the owner user ID, last edited user ID, last edit date, last activity date, title, then tags, then answer count, comment count, favorite count, community owner date. So these are the different attributes are present. So what we shall do, we shall search for each and every row. We are supposed to find out those respective posts which are related with the Wikipedia, which are related with the Wikipedia. So that we are supposed to find out. We're having only one Java file here. That is the inverse index mrtax.java. So we are having one Java file. And this Java file is extending the, uh, this Java file is there. Within that, we are having uh, inner classes, two inner classes. One will be extending the mapper class and another one will be extending the, uh, the reducer class. So this is a mapper class extended. That is the invert index mapper having the uh, member ID. Uh, that is a member available ID type and keyword, both of them of text type. Here we are overriding the map method. We are having XML parsed. There is a one hash map object. And here XML to map, one method is there. Let me show you the method at first. So this is a method which will take one XML as input and returns the hash map as output. So this is our uh, XML to map. So this method will take XML as input and hash map as output. So under this, we are having the try block and here we're having the ID, we're having main text, then body, we'll be having the body and then we'll be having the, uh, the, the next one is the body one and next one is our doc type. So these are the different variables we have defined. Now, let me discuss that if, if the respective body, if it is not equal to null, that means if the body is having some content then we are checking the post type. If the post type is not equal to null and if the post type is equals one, you know that we are having the post ID also we are going to get. And then regarding the post type, if the post type is not equal to null, if the post type dot equals one, then doc type is question. If post type is not equal to null, doc type equals to two, then it is answered. If post type is not equal to null, otherwise the doc type will be unknown. And if the body is null, in that case, if the body is null, but if the main text is not equal to null, then you shall go for the doc type as comment. Otherwise, it will return. 
so here we are finding the doc type using this particular logic of finding the doc type then id dot contact uh, concat we are having the uh, where doc type is getting added with this id we define one yes the doc type is getting added with the id then we are going to define a text so if the doc type dot equals comment text is equal to main text dot to lowercase otherwise text is equal to body dot uh, to lowercase so we are converting them to the lowercase we are defining one string array there is a text word and from the text using the blank space as the delimiter we are going to split them and put them in this text array that is the text words now we are searching for each and every word if the word contains wikipedia.org then we are going for replacing href is equal to ampersand quote semicolon will be replaced by blank space and ampersand quote semicolon will be replaced by the blank space again so word dot replace all and word dot replace all id type dot set id keyword dot set uh, word and we are going to write this key value pair on the context so cts dot write keyword comma id type so this keyword comma id type is going to be written onto the respective context we have kept this one in the try catch block accordingly now we shall discuss the reducer we shall discuss the reducer the class name is in uh, invert re uh, index reducer we are going to override the method reduce we have passed the parameters you can sh you can see that one we are defining one string builder builder class object and using this for loop we are just uh, going go, going on adding or appending with this string builder class object that is our str build there is a row id dot to string plus a blank space then output value dot set which we which is which we define as a text type we are going to set that one and then we are writing this key value pair onto the context so we, we are writing this one we are just taking the substring starting from the index 0 to str build dot length minus 1 converting it to the string we are writing that one onto the context as key value pair this is our main function this main function is taking the command line arguments and it is checking whether the length is true or not if the length is not true then one error message will be printed and system will exit then we are defining one job object we are defining one job object giving the job name and so on and we know that respective class is there there is a set jar by class we are going for input file for file input format and file output format we know that argument 0 will be containing the input file path and one will be containing the output file path we are having the, this set mapper and set reducer and here we define the respective inner classes so there is a set mapper and set reducer so these two classes will be assigned to the uh, will be assigned to the job and then job dot set output key job dot set output value and then we are having the success if the success we are getting then zero will be returned otherwise one will be returned so same thing whatever you did in the earlier programs also you can pause the video you can watch it now what we shall do we shall go for creating the jar file there so what we shall do creating the jar file so in this case we are going to uh, we shall go for export we shall go for export then we shall go for export and we shall go for this jar file then we shall go for the respective path and the file name has to be given properly then next and finish but already we, we have created the jar file so we are not going to do that one but these are the steps to be uh, to be followed to create the jar files and then you shall come to the command prompt and this is the respective command to execute the code so hadoop jar so this is the respective path and then the jar file name then inverted index is the package name then uh, inverted index mr task dot class is the class name input slash post is the input file path and output is the output file path so we know that output file will be having the name as part dot r dot zeros will be the output file name so if i execute this code uh, this command i think it would works successfully but no it is it didn't work so I, I i feel that the name node is in the safe mode so let me take out from the safe safe mode now so let me issue the command and that is your uh, hadoop and then dfs admin then go for safe mode then leave pressing enter 
you can find that it has come out from the safe mode so let me execute the command once again I think I hope now the output file will be created under the output folder with the name starting with part yes it has got created so let me show you the respective uh, file system you can find that we have gone for uh, the input post my present directory so I've gone for the root you can find that under the output folder root output folder we are having part hyphen r hyphen zero so this is the file which is containing the respective output so let me execute the cat command that is the hdfs dfs minus cat slash we shall go for this output we shall go for post st uh, part star yes so all the files starting with the part will be printed you can find that here we are having this uh, the outputs so here we are getting all those links where wikipedia is present so one two four three one four plus answer you can find that the first part there is a nine eight eight zero six is the id and plus question is the doc type which you decided using that nested if statements so you can find that we are having this is the respective post link and each one of them is containing the wikipedia and there is the id plus uh, the doc type so this is the respective output whatever you have got so let me delete the output folder here so this is output you can you can easily see so hdfs dfs minus rm minus r then output folder we are going to delete so folder has been deleted thanks for watching